Okay, before we get into this video, I know what you're thinking. It's only May. Why are we talking about Halloween? Well, there is a lot of new news and rumors when it comes to Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights 2023 event. So we're going to talk about the latest speculation map, the latest rumors. Will we see some familiar faces returning at this year's event? We're going to talk about all of it in this video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about all things theme parks, Disney, Universal, Halloween Horror Nights. So if that is up your alley, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. It really, really does help us out. Now, just a couple of months ago, we put out a video talking about the first version of the speculation map that was dropped by Horror Night Nightmares. So we did a whole video about the first version of the speculation map, which I'll leave up in the corner. But today, we're gonna to be talking about the new version of the map that was dropped just about two weeks ago or so. I know I'm a little late on this video, but it doesn't mean that there's not a lot to talk about, so let's jump into it. So when we compare the first version of the speculation map with what was just released, there are a lot of differences. A lot of houses dropped off the map versus the first go around, and there's some new things and some new IPs some interesting IPs that have popped up since then. And before we dive into this map, once again, I wanna state that anything that we talk about in this video, with the exception of the Chucky House, which was officially confirmed by Universal, is all based off of speculations and rumors, so take everything with a grain of salt. So on this version of the speculation map, there are five IP houses and five original houses. And the five IP houses that they have on this list are Chucky, which at the moment is the only confirmed house by Universal, so Chucky will definitely becoming The Exorcist Believer, Demon Slayer, Universal Studios Monsters Paris, and Naughty Dogs The Last of Us. I'm going to skip over Chucky because we talked about that in the previous video and that is something that is not speculation anymore, it's actually happening. But the next house that I want to talk about, which is located right next to it on the speculation map, is The Exorcist Believer. Now, The Exorcist Believer is an upcoming horror film that is going to be releasing in mid-October, which puts this in the skeptical category for me personally because I don't think that Universal is going to put a house out for a movie that comes out a month and a half into Halloween Horror Nights. Halloween Horror Nights starts on September 2nd. This movie comes out, I believe, around like the 15th or 17th of October. So by doing a house that is based off of a movie, a lot of the movie's gonna be spoiled and that's gonna take people away from going to the theater. So for that reason, I don't believe that Exorcist Believer is going to be the house. So this might be a brand new storyline altogether or we might not see this on future versions of speculation maps. But as far as Exorcist Believer goes, I don't think that's gonna be coming, even though it is on this map, just because of the timing of the movie. Something that is very interesting though, is on this map, located right next to it, is Demon Slayer. Now, Demon Slayer is an anime series. Obviously, it's based around horror, since they are hunting demons in the show. I'm not super familiar with what Demon Slayer is, and I do know that it is very popular. So it would be interesting if they did a house based off an anime TV show, this would be the first time that they do something like that, I believe. But it would be interesting if they did do Demon Slayer because, again, it would kind of be a first of its kind considering it is anime. The next IP on here is Universal Studios Monsters Paris. Now this one, very, very excited for. I love the Universal Classic Monsters. They always put on a really, really good house. Legends Collide was incredible last year and finished the year as my number one house or number two. I can't remember where I officially ranked it. It was right up there with Dead Man's Pier, but Legends Collide was so good. And if they do Paris, it opens up the door for some new characters or characters we haven't seen in a little while. Will they do the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Will it be the Phantom of the Opera? Could be Dracula again. Very interested to see the direction that the Universal Monsters house goes in because I love those characters and I know that the house is gonna be really cool. So I'm very interested to see if we get some characters like Hunchback and the Phantom would be really cool. Give us a little bit of a break from the Mummy and the Wolfman and the typical ones that we always see and give a little bit of love to some of the ones we don't see too often. And the next IP that was on the first version of the speculation map is The Last of Us, but with a caveat. It was rumored that The Last of Us House was gonna be based off of the HBO series show because of how popular it was. But according to this version of the speculation map, 
It is gonna be based off of the video game since it is clearly labeled Naughty Dog, The Last of Us. I think Last of Us fans will still be happy either way because the, obviously the show was based off of the video game and the video game is what came first. So it would be interesting. Now, speaking of The Last of Us, something that's really interesting on this map is not only do they have The Last of Us listed as a house, they have The Last of Us listed as a scare zone. And they're nowhere near each other. The Last of Us scare zone on the map would be over in New York, then the house would be on the complete opposite side of the park. So it'll be interesting to see if we see a double dip of The Last of Us this year, or if it will just be one or the other. If I had a guess, between the two of them, it would more so be a house than a scare zone, but it could make for a great scare zone as well. Now, as we look at some of the original houses on here, none of them have titles. They all just have some photos that give a loose depiction of what it could be, but it's really up to interpretation. So if you look at the speculation map right above Chucky, there is what appears to be some sort of a village with possibly a church, but right next to that one, which is over by Rip Ride Rocket, where Dead Man's Pier was last year, has a castle and a dragon. Another interesting change, because this was not on the first one. The next one here is really big. This one is labeled Top Secret. It's the only one on the speculation map for an original house that has words tied to it. And this could go one of two ways. This could be a top secret IP kept under wraps or Top Secret could tie into an original house. It could be a spy house or like a detective type house with investigating. Just because it says Top Secret doesn't mean it's tied to an IP, although that is what I am thinking and I will tell you why in just a couple of minutes. As we make our way around the map, the next one looks like a carnival tent to me. And there are rumors going around, according to HHN 365, that we might see a house based off of Jack the Clown. That's right, everybody's favorite Horror Nights icon might be back on a non-anniversary year, which is kind of out of the ordinary for Jack. He typically comes on anniversary years, but the rumor is that this could be a backstory, almost like an origin story of Jack the Clown, which could be really, really interesting. That's definitely something I would be interested in. And as somebody who is a big Jack the Clown fan, I don't need him only on anniversaries. I'd like to see Jack all the time, but I know a lot of people only want to keep him for the anniversaries, but if we can get a cool backstory about his origin, why not? And the last original house kind of has a devil type symbol to it. And a lot of people were thinking that this is gonna be an original house similar to the plot of Crossroads, a movie where a blues musician goes down to the deep south and sells his soul for fame. Also on the speculation map, when it comes to shows, they do have the Lagoon Show on the map and they also have Nightmare Fuel. So we'll see if Nightmare Fuel does come back. Universal has put out some casting calls for the new nighttime show and they're looking for dancers and vocalists and people who can tumble. So if it is Nightmare Fuel, it's gonna be a different version because there were no vocalists in the previous two iterations of that show. So will we see an evolved Nightmare Fuel? It's possible. And considering how popular it was last year, every time we went and saw that show, which was like maybe three or four times, throughout the season, it was always packed. You always had to get there early and everyone really, really enjoyed it. So if they kind of spruce it up and give us something a little bit different than what we've seen over the last couple of years, add in some vocalists, add in some you know new acrobatics. I would not be opposed to Nightmare Fuel coming back. I really did enjoy that show. It was a lot of fun and the crowd was always super into it. Now let's go back to that top secret IP that is on the map. Again, it might not be an IP, but a lot of people think it is going to be. There were rumors earlier, maybe about a month or two ago, that Warner Brothers and Universal have struck a deal to bring it over to Halloween Horror Nights. That would be amazing if they did. Big fan of the new It movies, and it would be awesome to see that in a house. That would be just something I would absolutely sign up for. But something else that is really, really interesting I saw a post on Twitter from HHN365, and they said, HHN House Rumor, a house based on Netflix's Stranger Things is rumored to be coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights at both Orlando and Hollywood. This rumor comes from trusted HHN insiders. Now I find this really interesting because everyone was clamoring for Stranger Things last year. After season four came out, it would have been the perfect version of a Stranger Things house 
with the Creole House and Vecna, and who wouldn't want to see that? Now we did a Universal Holiday VIP tour, and our tour guide told us that you could basically count out anything Netflix related when it comes to HHN. They're asking for a ton of money for the licensing, and Universal just doesn't want to pay it. So the chances of seeing Stranger Things would be basically slim to none. Now the other day, we went to the parks to shoot our May update video. Guest services team member that was at the turnstile said to Alex, because she had a Stranger Things t-shirt on, oh, you must be really excited for this year's Horror Nights, right? And Alex was like, oh yeah, like we, we love coming to Horror Nights, you know, but I guess, like, I'm always excited. And he goes, oh no, your shirt. And she had a Stranger Things shirt on, and she loves Stranger Things, as do I. It's one of our favorite shows. And Alex said to him, is it coming? And he goes, it's all but confirmed at this point that it's definitely gonna be coming. So it was interesting to hear a few months back that it wouldn't be coming from a team member. And then just a few days ago, we heard that it's basically a done deal. And then right after that, this comes out that there might be a house based off of Stranger Things. So not gonna get my hopes up because we got our hopes up last year, but it would be amazing. I really, really hope it comes. I know Stranger Things is a little bit of a divisive topic when it comes to Horror Nights, but it's gonna draw in a ton of people, so that'll be really interesting. Something else that is interesting is Halloween Horror Nights recently tweeted at Lady Gaga, and they replied to a tweet that was years and years old. So will we see Lady Gaga at Halloween Horror Nights this year? It's a possibility. I mean, they did The weekend, and that house was super successful, but the music logo that was on the first version of the speculation map is no longer there. Now, I thought when I first saw the guitar and the lightning bolt in that, to me that screams Stranger Things, and now that it's not on the map, and there's a top secret IP that is labeled on that map, and there's rumors going around that Stranger Things might be back, it kind of seems like that guitar and lightning bolt was signaling Eddie Munson, the first version of the map. We'll just have to wait and see. I also want to talk about a video that the Halloween Horror Nights social teams dropped a few days ago. And it starts off with a woman kind of doing a podcast introduction to Halloween Horror Nights. And then all of a sudden, everything goes static. And it's a video that's about 10 minutes long of just pure static. But in that static, if you slow it down and look at everything frame by frame, you will see different things pop up. Now in the beginning of that video, the woman is wearing a Halloween Horror Nights 25 t-shirt, which is when Jack returned to the event. So that's another clue that Jack might be back at this year's event. Something else that was interesting is throughout a couple of the freeze frames, you can vaguely make out Jack the Clown. You can kind of see his hair. You can see a little bit of his makeup. You really have to look super, super closely for it. Some people were seeing Jack the Clown. Other people were seeing the caretaker in some of the images. Some people were seeing Chance. It's kind of open-ended, but based off of the rumors about Jack getting like a origin story house, her wearing the Halloween Horror Nights 25 shirt, you can kind of see a little bit of his hair and makeup in one of those static images. It sounds like Jack is going to be back at this year's event. Very, very interesting. There's a lot of things to kind of pick apart, and that's really the fun of doing all this. Who knows what's gonna happen? Again, all of this is based off of rumors and speculation and hearsay, but that's the fun of the Halloween Horror Night season. We get to get all these different clues, we get to get all of these speculation maps, and then in just a few months, everything will come together and we'll find out what was true, what fell off the map, what changes were made last minute. It makes for a really, really fun next few months. So we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you found it helpful. If you did, once again, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below because we're gonna keep you up to date on all things Halloween Horror Nights as we head through the summer and into the start of HHN 32 season. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the fog.